Determining the authority and credibility of the sources that you find online is a very important part of doing academic research. With business intelligence, it can actually be fairly tricky to determine whether or not what you're looking at is a good source. I'm going to show you a case study of searching for a SWOT analysis of Apple on Google and a good resource and a bad resource. So let's take a look. Well, out of a million plus results, I'm just going to focus on two. The first one is an Apple SWOT analysis 2013 from something called Strategic Management Insight. That sounds promising. The first thing that I want to try and find is information about the author. Who's written this particular SWOT analysis? I don't have any information right off the bat about who that is. I just see that it was written on February 19th of 2013. I'm also immediately assaulted with a, an advertisement, which is a bit of a red flag. You, um, a, a credible resource will not have advertisements right smack dab in the middle of their uh, website. As I scroll down, I'm seeing some pretty generic company information that's easily found elsewhere. I also see that he says you can find more information about this business on its official website or its Wikipedia article. That's another red flag. Scrolling down, I see more information about the SWOT analysis that they've done in a visual and then there's some further information that they're offering all the while with advertisements peppered throughout. Being a librarian, the first thing that I do is go down to the bottom of a resource and I see what sources they used. I also am finally noticing who the author is, but we'll get to that. They've used only five sources and three of which, two of which are from the exact same source, the Financial Times. Different articles, but same source. I also see something from The Telegraph, which is a typo, and I also see something from CNN Money and The Times of India. They're also all from the year 2012. This is hardly cutting-edge business intelligence, and it's also not very in-depth research befitting of a proper SWOT analysis. Now let's talk about who wrote it. I'm not quite sure who this fellow is. I don't see any information about what his qualifications are, his education, or his affiliation with an institution. So let's see what else we can find out about this website by going back up to the top. What is Strategic Man Management Insight all about? Well, let's click on the about, site, about page. And here's where I am seeing pretty much all I need to know about this website. Please take note of this section here. We welcome everyone to contribute. If you're passionate about strategic management and want to add your knowledge, simply email us and become our author. So there you have it. Just about anybody can be a strategic management expert as long as you email this fellow here. Uh, I did a little bit further digging on his profile on Google Plus and I found that he seems to be the only contributor to this particular website. I'm going to give this one a failing grade in terms of credibility. Now, let's contrast this with something that is actually a credible resource. The Apple Company Profile from Euromonitor International. Now, I happen to know that we have a subscription to Euromonitor International. You might not know that, but if you came across this in your Google travels, you might be intrigued by it. The first thing that you will notice is that it costs $525. Well, lucky for you, given that the library does actually have a subscription to this particular database, you won't have to worry about that. But I'll show you how to get there in a minute. But I do want to demonstrate for the sake of argument why this is an authoritative resource as opposed to our previous example. This is information about the report that you'll find. It's telling you exactly what it will examine and it will tell you the table of contents with the scope and all of the major headlines that you'll find within the report. This is all very important information. In their About Us section, we, the very first link that I see is to their research methodology. And here we see everything that Euromonitor uses. Remember, in our previous example, we had a total of five newspaper articles that were used in order to come up with that particular SWOT analysis, that and the company website and its Wikipedia article. You can see that Euromonitor is doing much more extensive research and using a wide variety of resources, including research that they have done on their own. 
that all results in market analysis that is data substantiated with market trends explained. So there you have it. That's what you should be looking for when you're trying to determine the authority and credibility of a resource. You want to know who they are, what they're about, what's their motive, and why are they qualified to give you expert advice.